Trey had a lot of love for the city of Miami, and Miami had even more love for him. I mean, he was doing good there. Staying out of trouble, doing well in his classes, you know? And he was still considering if he wanted to stay for four years and get his degree. But the NBA, he loved more than anything else. Basketball, he loved more than anything else. He was trying to make it to the NBA level as soon as he could. So it was a pretty hard decision. But he just loves to just take jobs around Miami. I mean, there's so much to observe. There's so much to look at. Amazing city. Beautiful place. You know, but there's been a lot going on. But right now, he's just been trying to stay focused in school, stay focused in the court. University of Miami had a powerhouse to go against. Duke University, and more importantly, Paulo Bancaro. What's good with y'all boys? As y'all see, we're going against Paulo Bancaro and the Duke Blue Devils. We got Trevor Kills. This dude, I honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm pretty sure most of the players on this on this team are fictional, but what's most important is that Paulo Bancaro is on this team and Trevor Kills is on this team. So that's really all that matters. But anyway, going on to the next screen, as you see, Duke Blue Devils versus Miami Hurricanes, Trey King, Mark Edwards versus Trevor Kills, and Paulo Bancaro. Let's get right into the gameplay, though. All right, y'all, let's get into the gameplay. I ain't gonna lie, for like the first like 10, 11 points I scored, the stat box will not be at the top right. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. But as y'all see after the tip off, let's see. We got our boy Trey King, he gonna size up, he gonna kick it to his teammate, he gonna spark it. That's a dumb shot. I don't know what, like I don't get with 2K. Like when you up the difficulty, your teammates are just dumb as hell. I don't understand that. But as you see, Paulo, or not Paulo, some dude named Webster. I don't know, but he's sparking the three in my teammate face. A green bean, too. We taking it up the court. You know, I'm feeling some type of way after that shot. That was a pretty nice shot. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna call for a screen for my team. He gonna send me a hard body. And I'm gonna hit that shot right there. That's a pretty clean looking shot. I wanted the green. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted the green. But, you know, that, gr that green water, that splash, make it look a little prettier. But, you know, I'll take that right there. Paulo Banker at the top of the key. Cash Nasty. You can give it to Leonard. I'm just gonna go by their last name. I don't know if these are real people, but you're gonna give it back to Paulo Bencaro. He's gonna take it to the basket, a pump fake. He's gonna pass it back to his teammate. He's gonna shoot that three, but he's gonna miss. I don't know why my team was trying to put it back in the opposite basket, but that don't got nothing to do with me. As you see, I'm gonna call for another screen. And I think I was going for a dime here. So he's gonna call me a screen. Yep, I'm going for a dime. I'm gonna it back to my teammate. He, why are you pump faking? And he bricks, of course. Like, why was he pump faking right there, 2K? Please tell me. As you see, I'm calling for a screen. I'm trying to make the play right here. As you see, you already know that Trey King is a top-tier playmaker. But he's going to hit it back to his teammate. He's going to green it right there in his face. And look how we going to play the very next play. He's going to hit it to me at the top of the key. I'm going to call for another screen. Shut out the top of the key, and I'm going to spark it green. Bing. Yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the back-to-back -back play. Look at these goofies. Look at these goofies. How Duke's supposed to be one of the top basketball colleges, but they over here struggling. They But Duke has uh, produced a lot of good basketball players. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Zion, RJ Barrett. Uh, Cam Reddish is kind of a lost cause right now. I ain't gonna hold you, but uh, look at me wide open. Like, don't leave me open. I'm agreeing it in your face, goofy. But I ain't gonna hold you between those two teams, bro. We was going back and forth a lot to just not be scoring the entire time. But look at me getting to the basket. I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to draw a contact dunk, but you know, I didn't have no takeover or nothing. But it's the last play of the first quarter. We getting the steal. He gonna get it to the team and he gonna shoot the full court shot. Completely miss, and that's the end. All right, y'all. So I ain't gonna lie, I did not get a lot of second quarter footage, bro. I didn't get a lot of second quarter footage at all, but look at him hitting that mid range. I mean, he was wide open and missed a shot, dummy. But anyway, I was getting subbed out a lot for the second quarter. Like, I didn't get subbed until half the. Look at me getting to the basket and missing the layup. That's tough. My teammate gonna get the rebound. He gonna get out to my other teammate. He gonna pass it to me. I'm gonna get that screen and I'm gonna spark it and I'm gonna hit that three. Yes, sir. But I was getting subbed out a lot in this quarter. Like, I don't know why, but like, my coach can, he just was not messing with me. And look, I'm, I think I'm gonna get subbed out after this time out right here let's see but yeah I, I remember i just kept getting subbed out so i did not have a lot of the second quarter for y'all boys to watch or girls and girls yeah but see yeah i got subbed out for the rest of the second uh, quarter 
and that is the end of the second quarter all right but i did play in the third quarter watch watch me cook this dude just just sit there don't look at me cooking my defender blowing right past him baseline layup easy work all right i'm over here looking for the dime but look at look look at 2k cheating for me i don't even got no words watch how did he hit that how hey i ain't gonna lie this quarter this third quarter was probably the most boring quarter of them all i ain't gonna lie nothing happened it was just a whole bunch of fouling, missing shots, and look at me trying to size up. I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to cross up. I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to hit this shot. I was trying to get the green bean, but I, it's a white. I missed the shot. That's the end of the third quarter, 34 to 41. Hey, start of the fourth quarter, and look at your boy doing that crossover, getting right to the basket. I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to get a dunk. I was trying to get a dunk. I could not. I could barely get any dunks this game. I think I only had one dunk this entire game, and that was an open fast break. Speaking of the open fast break, they're going to pass it in the litter. I'm going to go ahead and get that steal. And I'm on an open fast break. Rising. No. But we're going to fast forward. This is a blowout on Duke. We're going to fast forward to less than a minute. See, I got the takeover. I'm going to do behind the back, getting straight to the basket. Getting that easy layup. I don't know why Doc Rivers right there, but he can go on somewhere. And I ain't going to front after the third quarter. This game was over. This game was up. So this is the end of the final score, 57 to 41. Miami Hurricanes beat the Duke Blue Devils.